I could, lads, I'll do you both. For I see indifferent children of the earth. Happy in that we are not over happy. On fortune's cap, we are not the very button. No, the soles of her shoe. Neither, my lord. Ah, then you live about her waist or in the middle of her favors? Faith, her private sweet. <laughs> <laughs> in the secret parts of fortune, oh, most true, she is a strumpet. But what have you, my good friends, deserved at the hands of fortune that she sends you to prison hither? Prison, my lord? Denmark's a prison. Uh, we think not so, my lord. Why, then, tis none to you, for there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. <laughs> to me, it is a prison. Why, then, your ambition makes it so. Tis too narrow for your mind. Oh, God. I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself a king of infinite space were it not that I have bad dreams. Which dreams indeed are ambition, for the very substance of the ambitious is but the shadow of a dream. A dream itself is but a shadow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what make you in Elsinore? Uh, to visit you, my lord, uh, no other occasion. Were you not sent for? <laughs> Is it your own inclining? Is it a free visitation? Come, come, deal justly with me. Come, come, nay, speak. What should we say, my lord? Why, anything but to the purpose. You were sent for. And there is a kind of confession in your looks which your modesties have not craft enough to color. I know the good king and queen have sent for you. Uh, to what end, my lord? That you must teach me. But let me conjure you by the rights of our fellowship, by the consonancy of our youth, by the obligation of our ever-preserved love, be even and direct with me whether you were sent for or no. What say you? <laughs> Nay, then, I have an eye of you. If you love me, hold not off. My lord, we were sent for. <laughs> 